Hi designers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this rectangular perfume bottle using an Adobe Illustrator and Dimension. So these are some of the shapes we're going to be creating. Let's start with this bottle here. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. Now if we turn that to stroke, you'll see there is a little bit of a border radius. I'm going to click in the corner on this dot. And depending on how realistic, you could add a little bit of pen work and make this wavy. My bottle image is not the highest quality, but that's okay. Okay, so now we have the bottle shape. And next I'm going to create the inner bottle, which includes this liquid. So I'm going to create one side of it and then reflect it. So grabbing the pen tool again and selecting a stroke that you can see pretty easily. Now select the object and go to Object, Transform, Reflect, Vertical, and we're going to do a copy. And now we're going to select both of these and with the Pathfinder, we're going to do a Join or Unite. So now we have this one shape. Okay, so we have the inner and the outer. Next, let's create this cap shape, the sprayer part. And you could do that with the pen tool like we just did, or if you wanna make it out of rectangles, we can do that also. We're creating this shape over here. So I'm gonna create some boxes. Now we can grab all of those rectangles and unite them or with your shape builder. You can also select and combine. So now let's grab half of this one as well. Got my scissors tool. And we're going to delete half of that. Next, let's create this little cylinder, this black inset part. And how about this cap next? Again, using rectangles. And then if I select both, unite. Select both of these corners on the inside and create that rounded corner. You may only want to select the corners, not the curve. All right, last thing for now, unless you want to get more detailed, I'm going to create that straw. And you can grab the pen tool, brush tool, whatever you want to just sketch a line. All right, let's start making these 3D. If you go to Window and open your 3D and Materials panel right here, let's give this outer bottle an extrusion, extrude, and I don't know the exact depth of this, but we can just estimate. Let's do 1.75. Next, let's take this inner part and give it an extrusion. For the depth, let's do 1.25. Now, one thing on this outer bottle that I want to do, let's reverse the stroke to a fill, and let's give it a bevel. So right here, turn on bevel, and we probably want this to be rounded and a small width. And this one, it could be a stroke, or we can reverse that into a fill as well. And let's create this sprayer part, the chrome. And this time we're going to do revolve from the right edge, in my case. Next, click on the cylinder. And we're going to do an extrusion. We can adjust the stroke and play with the depth. And again, we can create a bevel. So you can play with whether that's a stroke or a fill. And I'm going to do a step and reduce that way down. Now let's give some depth to this cap with an extrusion. And on this one, let's do 0.875. 
give it a bevel, round with a slight width. And lastly, let's create this straw. If you select that stroke, we want to do inflate and inflate both sides. And you can play with the depth. You might want to play with the rotation too to see that depth. I think we want a zero depth on this one. And depending on what the brush is, if I do basic, I can adjust the diameter. All right, so I believe we have all of our pieces now. And you're going to individually select each piece and click Export 3D Object. And now we can name these assets. And for export settings, I'm going to select all of them and select the format OBJ. Navigate to the folder where you'd like to save these. And it will create material files. You don't really need those, so I'm going to delete those. Be sure to save your document frequently. Actually, a couple of things I want you to check before we import into Dimension is on your cap and the bottle, make sure they're on the extrusion and bevel. The bevel is bevel both sides and the bottle bevel both sides. And now you want to re-export those. And then on the inner, I decided that instead of the fill, let's change that to a stroke and let's give it a four or five point stroke. And again, you're going to want to re-export that. I'm also going to show you how I attempted to create that gradient. Now we're going to drag and drop each of these 3D OBJs into Dimension. And you will need to rename them. With all the layers selected, use your alignment tool, which is A for shortcut. And let's align these center on all axes and move it above the surface plane. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to scale these proportionately to 2.5 and position this to the center of my document. With everything selected, you can tap F on the keyboard to fit to frame. And now we're ready to begin adding materials and textures. I'm going to go ahead and rename these. Be sure to save frequently. On the bottle, let's go to materials and add glass. And under translucence, I'm going to bring the index of refraction down to, let's do 0.07 and give it a little bit of roughness. You can also add just a slight cyan color. And the inner part of the glass can also be that same color. So using the eyedropper eye, I'm going to sample the bottle for the cap. Let's apply plastic, change the base to white, bring down the refraction and slight roughness. If there's an angle that you do like, go under your camera and you can add a new angle. For the sprayer, let's scroll down to substance materials and add silver gloss. And you can increase the roughness slightly. We just barely want that black piece to show and then find something dark. On a plastic cap, be sure to change the translucence to 100%. It can be helpful to save the front view. On the straw, with that selected, I'm going to sample the cap. I went ahead and darkened the plastics just a little bit. Let's see a render preview. Let's add our graphics to the bottle now. You can just drag and drop onto the bottle. And then when you're inside the bottle layer, just double click. We can click on each of those graphic layers and with our black arrow and holding down Option Shift, you can scale that proportionately and you might want to keep your reference visible. And now I'm going to add that subtle gradient of clear to blue. I'm going to apply the one I'd already created, which was a sliver of transparent blue to white. And for placement, let's do Fill, adjust that until it looks like it should. So if we look closer at the graphic under images, but basically I created a solid layer and then I made it transparent. So it was darker than the original gradient. And then I saved that as a transparent PNG by going to file, export, save for web. And we want PNG 24 with transparency. And let's go ahead and do a render by going to the render tab. I'm going to do the current view. Give it a file name, quality medium, and let's just do a PNG. Here's what we were able to achieve using Adobe Illustrator and Dimension, which is pretty impressive compared to our reference image.
If this video helped you out, please like the video so others can find it and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.